LA's favorite cougar, crossed two busy LA freeways to find a new home. But now he's trapped in Griffith Park and surrounded by dangerous roads. And for wildlife and people, connecting to natural areas in Los Angeles can be really hard. The National Wildlife Federation and our partners are working to build the largest wildlife crossing in the world to help mountain lions and other wildlife connect to green places along the 101. But we're also working to connect all of Los Angeles by transforming schoolyards, backyards, businesses, and places of worship into green corridors that both people and wildlife need to thrive. We're starting with a project to link Los Angeles public schools across the city by transforming schoolyards, replacing concrete with critical wildlife habitats for butterflies, birds, and other animals that people experience in an urban landscape. Schoolyard habitats increase the health, well-being, and learning experience for students and also entire communities. This grant will provide the funding to build five schoolyard habitats that will support a healthy ecosystem and also enhance hands-on STEM education opportunities for students. And that's just the start. Our vision is an entire Los Angeles connected, erasing barriers to parks and outdoor experiences across the entire city that will allow both people and wildlife to flourish and make our city an even better place to live. Like in Griffith Park, in the future may be creating crossings for both animals and people. Please join us in supporting wildlife and students and people and communities living in LA. And be sure to come to the first P22 Day and Urban Wildlife Festival on October 22nd in Griffith Park. You'll see some demonstration schoolyard habitats and projects from students already connecting Los Angeles. And you can get your photo with P22.